Hi everyone! Welcome to Linda's Thrifty Life and welcome to Smile Saturday. I hope you're all doing well. It's kind of a cloudy day here and we're expecting some rain. I know there's winter storms across the country. So I hope, let me turn that light. I hope everyone is staying inside and warm and comfy. I have my little flannel um, lounger on and my pink cat ears. Oh, no earrings. Oh dear, let's pick some earrings. <laughs> See the things I discover? Let's pick some fun earrings today. Oh, let's go with, I don't have, see, is amazing. I don't have cat earrings. <clears throat> Ooh, let's put these big, long, dangly ones on. So, just a quick catch up. Sarah is doing really well. She um, is back to working uh, from home. The, she's, they're still at virtual school, so she was able to work some this week. Um, everybody else stayed safe and never got the virus, so we are very happy about that. Mom is doing, hmm, isn't there always one that won't go in? There we go. Ooh, danglies. Okay, we're good today. <clears throat> so, Mom is doing well. Um, she still has that bursitis in her hip that's causing her some discomfort. And, um, but, you know, it is what it is, is what I always tell her. And she just grumps at me. <laughs> Bless her heart. So, today's Smile Saturday, I've decided to show you one of my collections. It's a fairly small collection. It's not brand new, but it's one I don't add to very often, and um, but it's great fun. So I want to show you, share with you, this beautiful watercolor print, or watercolor, that a friend of mine gave me before I went to Paris. And I absolutely love it. And if you'll notice, it's got a pink poodle, or a white, whitish pinkish poodle in it. And I just love it. So I have a fairly small collection of poodles. I know. If you remember back at Christmas that I bought this little guy at the Dollar Tree and I kept saying, he's a poodle, right? He's a poodle. And um, I'm sure he is. This one came also from the Dollar Tree, and a friend of mine sent it to me. It's one of the Thai babies, and it's definitely a poodle. Then I have two Christmas ornaments that I got at Walmart, and they are both <laughs> poodles. I love these. These go on my, on my white tree, white and pink tree. And then I have a couple of stuffed poodles. I such a kid. This one is Mimi. Isn't she cute? Yes, she's so cute. And this is Fifi. Now Fifi is really flat right now because she needs stuffing. But she... <laughs> I got her one time when I was going to a party and we had to dress up as our favorite Barbie and I dressed up as uh, Paris Barbie. That's a whole nother story, but we had a great time. It was fun. So then I have um, some vintage um, ceramic Barbies, Barbies, poodles, which are really, I just love them when I see them. And of course, I like to get them at the thrift shops or if they're at antique malls, but they have to be very inexpensive. So this is one of the first ones that I found, and it's for lipsticks. Let's see if I can like to keep on your dresser and to put a lipstick in. Isn't that cute? <laughs> Look at that face. It's just an old little ceramic. I, I really love it. Um, believe me, none of these cost very much money. This one I think I found at um, at a um, vintage store, and it was very inexpensive. But look at this one! Oh, and see the little she would have had a chain and some little baby poodles with her, but they are long gone. But I love this one because it's got pink on it, and and it's cute. And she's looking like hmm hmm. What you say? 
I haven't named these. I only named the stuffed ones. <laughs> and then I have this little guy. He's a made in Japan little figure. And he's he's gray. So he's a boy. Some of them are girls. Some of them are boys. That is definitely a boy face. Uh, which reminds me of we had a poodle when I was a kid. My mom had a poodle. And it was a boy. And his name was Pierre. And he was mom's dog. I mean, only mom's dog. And he did not like the rest of the family and growl at us if we got too close to mom and stuff. Eventually, we did have to find him a new home. <laughs> but I was, I was young, and I was sitting outside in the yard playing one day. And he came up and raised his leg and peed down my back. And I screamed, Mom, Pierre peed on me! So his days were doomed in my, <laughs> were numbered in my estimation. So we, eventually mom found him a home with an older lady that, that um, really pampered him and took care of him. And he needed to be in a home with, without children. <clears throat> so this is another little vintage poodle. Look at the little pink flowers. And they're actually in good shape. These things get chipped all the time. And this one has one chip, one chip over on this little flower. But really, it's not bad. Look at that. And I know I found this at the thrift shop. Isn't it cute? <laughs> well, it is to me. And so to round out my collection, I have a couple of brooches or pins. And this one has a red collar. Let's see if it'll focus. Isn't it cute? I should have pinned it on something so you could have seen it better. And uh, none of these were expensive, but that one is cute. It's got this real popped up little nose. And then this one is kind of gray and white, gray and pink. You can't hardly see the pink, but it's gray and pink. And it's got a little red collar. And it's looking back going, uh-huh. So, that is my poodle collection. And if I ever get out where I can thrift shop and go to antique malls again, I'll probably add to my collection. But, like I said, they have to be very inexpensive, and I have to really love them because I am very selective in what I can buy and keep anymore. So, um... Anyway, I hope you're all doing well. I hope that gave you a little smile. And I hope to see you during the week. I've been doing a little bit of um, collage work and I've enjoyed it. Um, I will share one with you, I think. I'll go ahead and share this one with you that I did. And uh, it's just for me. It's a book that I'm just making for myself, just plain. And I just really enjoyed that. And... Um, I'll show you the other one I did this past week. And then I did this one, which I really enjoyed using the paper and the different textures and mixed media. So I am having a really good time working on my art. So I hope you're finding something that brings you joy and makes you smile. Next Saturday, I promise you, will be a very special special Smile Saturday because I will be talking about cats and I will be talking in particular about my cat Charlie and uh, it will be the anniversary of um, of him going over the bridge five years ago on next Saturday and um, while it's sad it's also that he was such a wonderful cat that I want to share his story with you. All right, everybody, have a good week. I hope to see you during the week, but things have been really busy, and I um, haven't had a lot to share, <laughs> but I'll try to come back and talk to you soon. Bye now.